Hi, this is Brenda, your Pampered Chef Consultant, and I wanted to do some peanut butter, and then I'm going to slice up some apples. So I'm going to make some peanut butter out of three cups of honey roasted peanuts. So I'm gonna turn this on. You'll hear some, uh, some beeps, and so that beep right there just tells me that um, I cannot start because my lid was not on, and it says lid right there. So just pour the honey roasted peanuts in there. And if you had, if I had used unsalted peanuts, I might I want to add a little bit of salt to it, but we should have plenty on there. And I'm going to grab our tamper because um, eventually this is we're going to want to keep the peanuts going towards the blades. And um, I'm going to turn this to grind right there okay and it's gonna go for two minutes and 20 seconds so that's the most it will go we might turn it off before that if it gets um nice and creamy so this is going to be loud so you might want to turn down your volume Now this is a cooking blender. We didn't use any heat here, but um, it could get really hot if you're making a soup or um, jams. And that's why we have, let me show you, this plastic against the, for the handle um, so that you don't actually um, hit your hand on that hot glass. But look how creamy that is. So one thing that, that was developed when they were developing this cooking blender was this scraper. And it was made specifically for this to clean this all out. So I'm just going to get some of it, but I'm gonna finish cleaning it out later. Okay, so now that we have our peanut butter, I am going to slice up some apples and I'm going to make them into like french fries. So I'm going to get out my favorite product. We all know that now, right? So this is the uh, rapid print mandolin. I'm going to turn it to french fry, which is the large julian and an eight.
And I have lots of videos on this, so if you have not seen this, you might want to go check out some of those videos. Let me cut up an apple. And we could core, you know, core it first, but I'm just going to cut out the seeds. down in here and actually let's just go ahead and cut it because it's quite big I'm gonna want to try to keep the apple against the blades like that so that we get the longer the longest piece as possible and that's where this angle here helps that it has used up all of that apple there's nothing left and we have apple fries so we can just go ahead and dig in to this nice hot peanut butter with our apple fries oh my goodness so good so if you have any questions about the cooking blender or the rapid prep mandolin Please let me know. Okay, I forgot to tell you the best part. It cleans itself. So I put in three cups of water and a couple drops of dishwashing soap, put it to heat, heated wash, and it's going to clean itself.